I bring special greetings to you and I welcome you to the Daily Mana Extracts today being the 29th of March 2022. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank and bless your name for what you are going to do in every family, in every life today. All the evil altars raised up against our destiny, against our progress, against the fulfillment of your word in our life. I decree today it shall be pulled down. Let your word stir us up and the power to overcome grant unto us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We are considering the topic, pull down the altars. Pull down the altars. Our text is taken from Judges chapter 6, verse 25 to 32. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the groove that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock, in the ordered place, and take the second bullock, and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the groove which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servants, and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household, and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the groove was cut down that, by, that was by it. And the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, Who hath done this thing? And when they had inquired and asked, they said, Gideon, the son of Jewash, had done this thing. Then the men of the city said unto Jewash, Bring out thy son, that he may die, because he had cast down the altar of Baal, and because he had cut down the groove that was by it. And Jewash said unto all that stood against him, Will ye plead for Baal? Will ye save him? He that will plead for him, let him be put to death while it is yet morning. For he be a God, if he be a God, let him plead for himself, because one had cast down his altar. Therefore on that day called him Jerobal, saying, Let Baal plead against him, because he had thrown down his altar. Our key verse is in verse 25, and it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the groove that is by it. According to St. Augustine, idolatry is worshipping anything that ought to be used and using anything that ought to be worshipped. There is no difference between the idolatry of a tribesman attributing power to a fetish altar and that of the professor attributing the wonders of the modern world to evolutionary forces. From the above passage, Gideon was asked to pull down the altar of Baal belonging to his father before he would fulfill his commission of delivering his fellow countrymen from the rampaging Midianites. Gideon obeyed the Lord, mobilized his servants, and carried out the assignments in the night. By morning, the old city gathered against him, demanding that he be executed for his actions. But his father stood up in his defense. This was enough to disperse the angry crowd, allowing Gideon to carry out his task as Israel's deliverer. The altar is the center of worship and devotion. In the case under review, this altar was dedicated to Baal worship, which is satanic. The Lord wanted Gideon to pull it down because he would not use him while an altar representing Satan's worship existed in his compound. Of course, his father supported him. 
idolatrous altars must be pulled down with the full cooperation of those who erected them after their new birth experience in Christ. We must first destroy all existing altars dedicated to the worship of Satan before we can be used of God for his kingdom work. Believers need to build spiritual altars of communion with God. Thoughts for the day. Pull down all altars of sin today. Amen. It is no gain saying that many people have been hindered in life because of the activities of evil altars. An evil altar is a place of evil transactions where many evil things like infirmities, causes, failures, delay in marriage, delay in progressing in life, lack of getting what rightly belongs to us. You put your hands into this, you fail. You try to go into a business, you fail. These are the activities of evil altars. And these evil altars are projected into people's lives to cause all form of backwardness, all form of hindrances in the life of people. When we look at our present environments where wickedness is the order of the day, some people do not mind going into any lands to make money or harm their fellow human beings. They can do anything. They can carry out any sacrifice just to see that their fellow man, their fellow brother, their fellow sister, their fellow friend is kept in perpetual slavery perpetual suffering, perpetual defeat in life. They do that just because of money. They do that for them to remain at the top, whereas the other family there, the other brother there, the other boy there, the other man there, remain perpetually backward in life. In Numbers chapter 23, Numbers chapter 23, we see there the activity of altars, Balak, Ayat Balaam to curse the people of God and for him to carry out that wicked adventure, he requested that seven altars be built. Altars are symbol of evil transactions. In fact, in that Numbers 23, when Balak, Ayat Balaam, a false prophet, Balaam is a false prophet to Cause the children of God. Balaam carried out that assignment. He was to do it by all means. And Balak was ready to pay anything to see that these precious children of God, these precious people with covenant on them, are perpetually enslaved. These are the activities of wicked men today in our world. They do that to destroy destiny as we look at the name Balaam. Balaam means a stranger. Balaam means a foreigner. You know, there are various Balaam in your life today, various Balaam in families today, or cultic Balaam. There are foreigners to your life, foreigners to your business, foreigners to that which God has given to you. Once they step into a business as foreigners, they destroy everything you have there. Once they step into the family as foreigners, they destroy everything the family has built. And Balak, on the other hand, means a devastator. It means somebody that empties everything. Are there no devastators in your life? They devastate your marriage. They devastate your business. They devastate that which rightly belongs to you. They are operating today in the lives of people of God. And because people of God, many of them, don't know their authority in Christ, they have been defeated by these devastating works of the devil. They have been destroyed by these foreign agents that comes and they erect altars. And through that altars, they, they make sacrifices yearly or monthly to ensure that that particular family, that particular brother, that particular sister is kept perpetually in defeat, perpetually in all sorts of 
evil molestations but today the lord is going to deliver you every evil altar that have been raised and your name is right there and they are saying every month this person must be kept down every year they are renewing their evil covenant on those altars i decree this day those altars will catch fire your name shall be freed in the name of jesus anything they have tied in your life in your business whatsoever they have done against your destiny by the authority that breaks every yoke the bible say by the reason of the anointing the yoke shall be broken every evil altar that have been erected against your family against your life against your business against your destiny the lord will arise this day and all those altars shall be scattered in the name of jesus isaiah chapter 44 verse number 25 isaiah 44 verse 25 that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make it diviners mad that turn it wise men backward and make it their knowledge foolish every knowledge of the enemies every evil altars raised against you whatsoever be the weapon fashioned against you shall not prosper they shall be destroyed in the name of jesus every token fashioned against you in a satanic altar which we, we, we catch fire in the name of jesus anything that god has not planted in your life everything that god has not decreed in your life shall catch fire in the name of jesus one of the causes of the problem of many people today is the oppression of evil altars our fathers erected strange altars in pursuit of their comfort in pursuit of their relief and that of their children and their grandchildren without even considering the consequences of their actions there are altars there are your forefathers have raised up that is working against your destiny today altars in fact our text today in this judges chapter 6 the altar that limited gideon the altars that made him not to have the move of god in his life was erected not by him but by his father maybe you are ignorant of the altars they have raised in your name in the village in your name somewhere close to the sea and because of those evil altars you cannot make progress in life you are limited in life gideon was a mighty man of value yet the evil altar of his father's house placed a limit in his life this same type of altar is still speaking against some people today they go for job interview they cannot succeed they put their hands in business no way they go into a marriage no way there are delays in the life of such people evil altars manipulated against their destiny my brother my sister you need to rise up in defense of your family you need to write rise up to declare that all those altars raised up against your destiny be destroyed as we stand upon the authority of the word of god and we pray in faith the lord will intervene you know something happened some young men went to the forest just to look for some things maybe fruits or to look for some animals and suddenly when they went inside the forest they saw a particular tree that tree around the tree was a chain with different padlocks padlocks of different sizes different shape different made the padlocks were there locked up and some of those padlock had even begin to rust they have been there for years is. those are destinies of people locked up in the evil forest those are progress of many people locked up there and these boys when they saw that occurrence they went back to the city look for armor look for some things and begin to open those padlock any padlock they have made and they have tied and they have locked up and that's your destiny and that's your progress today those padlock shall be opened by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus any man or woman that have professed and say you will not succeed and they have locked up your destiny they threw the key to the sea by the power of God 
by the agency of the Holy Ghost. Today, your destiny will be released. In the name of Jesus, you have to break every evil altar limiting your progress. First of all, you must be born again. You must be free from sin because if you are still a slave to sin, if you are still a slave to Satan, you cannot destroy Satan because you are a slave to him. But when you give your life to the Lord and you understand your authority in the Lord, every altar raised up against you, against your destiny, shall be pulled down today. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Begin to cry to God. Begin to cry to God. Every evil altar against my destiny. Every evil altar against my progress. Arise, O oh God. Let them catch fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Decree this day. Every altar raised up against your destiny. Raised up to stop your children. To stop your life from progressing. Pull down those altars. Destroy them altars in the mountain altars in the valley altars in the sea altars in the barrier ground altars anywhere around my family around my neighborhood raised up against me raised up against my destiny collapse by fire collapse by fire open your mouth begin to decree this day pull down those altars of delay delay in marriage delay in business breakthrough delay in spiritual progress pull down those altar altar of disappointment pull it down altar of disease and affliction pull it down open your mouth what are you waiting for you have the key in your hands this moment begin to decree and it shall be established decree upon your life decree upon your destiny every evil altar raised up against my destiny collapse 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 in the name of jesus in jesus name we have prayed father i seal the miracle this moment every altar fighting against your will for my life for the life of all those hearing the sound of my voice i decree freedom in the name of jesus let those altars collapse right now collapse in jesus name lord from today breakthrough for your people deliverance for your people and they shall possess their possession thank you because i know it is done in jesus name i pray amen congratulations